Hey everybody, welcome back to Windy City Astrophotography. My name is Nick, and in this video I've got the car all packed up. We're heading outside of Chicago. We're going to get to a dark sky tonight and hopefully do some imaging. Let's check it out. All right, so I've got the van all packed up here. I've done my double and triple and quadruple checks just to make sure I didn't forget anything, especially those counterweights. You forget those and uh, you are SOL, as they say. Uh, so I'm excited tonight. We're gonna head out to the Green River Wildlife Management Area. That's about two hours west of the city. It's supposed to be pretty cold out there, but hopefully all the gear will hold up. And uh, I'm just excited. It's a great chance to get out there and uh, see what we can see. So when I get to a dark sky site, what I'd like to do is image in RGB. Now, when I'm shooting from Chicago, generally, I'm using narrow band filters. So they're very narrow band passes. I'm able to pick up just the emission spectrum from these active regions in the Milky Way galaxy for the most part. However, what narrow band filters can't pick up very well are things like reflection nebulae, and also, for the most part, galaxies. These are broadband objects. They're not emitting in very specific wavelengths of light. They're emitting across essentially the entire spectrum. But when I get to a dark sky site, I'm able to use RGB filters. So red, green, and blue, which instead of showing just a few nanometers of the spectrum, they show an entire third of the visible spectrum. So about 100 nanometers wide. Now, in the case of this dark sky, it's not completely dark. It's not pristine. This isn't a Bordeaux 1 or a Bordeaux 2. This is a, really a Bordeaux 4, I would say. So there are some light domes that I can see on the horizon here for sure. Uh, it is quite dark, and the results can be uh, pretty excellent. And the RGB filters, you are filtering out two-thirds of the visible spectrum. So in a way, it is filtering out light. I've actually shot a little bit of RGB from Chicago as well, and it does a pretty good job. Um, you're not able to get incredible results, at least without a lot of integration time, but you are able to shoot some of these targets fairly well. I've actually shot M31, the Andromeda Galaxy, from Chicago when I first got my Rasa. I was excited to uh, see what I could do. Uh, the weather didn't end up cooperating. I didn't get a whole lot of integration time. It was a decent picture, especially for a first go at it. Um, but I'm very excited tonight to be shooting that object again. So the Andromeda Galaxy, the closest large galaxy to the Milky Way, two and a half million light years away. It's visible to the naked eye. I was looking at it earlier. I was kind of in a hurry to set up, but I took a couple glances up towards the Milky Way there and was able to see that. Now, the second object I'm hoping to get tonight is going to be the Witch's Head Nebula. And that is a, it's on the other end of the spectrum from Andromeda. It's super dim. Um, it is a reflection nebula. So in this case, the nebula isn't being excited enough by nearby stars. It's actually, so it's in the constellation technically of Eridanus, the river. Uh, however, it's right by this bright star Rigel, which is the knee or uh, maybe the, the foot of uh, Orion. Anyway, it's being illuminated by this star. It's a beautiful region. I'm actually not sure how well it's going to come out. I'm looking to get between 60 and 90 minutes of integration time on the Witch's Head per filter. That should be plenty, especially in a dark sky like this and with the Rasa. Should be exciting. It's going to be a, a little bit of a late night. I'm going to be catching a few winks in between. Planning to get out of here probably around 5 a.m. and then drive home. Uh, so I've got uh, you know, some caffeine to go along with that and uh, a good podcast as well. I'm going to listen to some Dan Carlin. So hopefully the fog stays away tonight. I'll try and catch you up as we go through the night, uh, but also eventually I'm giving you an image uh, to look at or hopefully a couple images of the Andromeda Galaxy and the Witch's Head Nebula. So it is a beautiful night out here. Um, as cold as it is, it's definitely below freezing, uh, which uh, I haven't experienced in uh, quite a few months. It's still worth it to get out here and just look at the incredible 
night sky. I really haven't seen this part of the sky from dark skies all that often. So it's, it's really exciting to be able to get out here and, and see that, be able to trace out uh, some of the constellations a little bit better, actually quite a bit better than I can in Chicago and uh, really make the most of it as I come out to a dark sky. I'm excited to be here. It's um, uh, really a privilege to get to uh, at least a reasonably dark sky and uh, see what I can see. So I'm glad you can join me. So we just uh, finished the last filter change of the night. We're just running through the focusing right now. Guiding has started to look a lot better for the witch's head. It was quite low when we started with the red filter. And uh, I was a little bit worried that maybe the cold outside was affecting uh, the mount or something like that. But it looks to have settled down. I'm also excited to see this first blue frame roll in. Uh, this is a very blue nebula in the sky so i think this will be the strongest signal that we're going to get uh, for the night it's also just past the meridian so nice and clear out there just a gorgeous night i have gotten a little bit of sleep which is good and uh looking at maybe another 90 minutes here uh, before i wake up tear it all down and then drive back home all right so our first image here coming in on uh, the ipad on our blue yeah that framing looks very consistent wow that's almost clear as day even on this dim ipad screen that's looking really nice well we'll see uh let's see how this goes fingers crossed this last little bit of the imaging run uh holds out okay the batteries last and everything like that and uh yeah we'll see what the final image looks like if you enjoyed this video please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to windy city astrophotography uh, we'll be having a lot more uh, imaging sessions, uh, probably quite this cold, uh, over the next few months. And uh, probably in much brighter skies than we have here at Green River State Wildlife Management Area here in uh, Illinois. So uh, it's been a pleasure being out here, and uh, we'll see what this final image looks like. Enjoy! <laughs>